All right, I thought I'd just do a follow-up video to um, the one I originally posted about the cordless drill. I kind of made a New Year's uh, resolution uh, last year to just learn about taking things apart. Uh, things that were obviously thrown in the trash or, or broken. I thought I'd take it back to my workshop, sit down, take it apart, see it was how it's made and so on. This here, this is actually the motor from our dishwasher that uh, died. So I thought I'd take all the parts off and all the wiring and so on so I could see what's inside it. This is an example of one of the wires that came from our dishwasher. It's got a nice female end here, nice wide clip and all different colors. So if you're working on a project and you want to specify certain colors for certain tasks, you can do that too. Oh, here's the part of a drill. Um, I kept in mind anything I took apart, I kept for in case I wanted to make some future like wind turbine part or shaft or that kind of thing. So this particular piece here, the it's all sealed inside. Also another good uh, thing to take apart is uh, find one of those ink, ink uh, inkjet printers and they have little stepper motors inside them like this one here plus they have cool little uh, belts that can probably be used for something later on and also here's something else this is like a shaft that the uh, inkjet uh, travels up and down this particular one looks to be about 3 8 it's got uh, two nice little brass uh, sliders here so you know, future shaft for a wind turbine. It's from a cordless vacuum like you would have in your car. Uh, you can see the little vacuum part. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, this is one of the circular saws. And uh, this particular model, the battery died on it. So I took it apart. And this is the motor that's inside it. And I thought, cool. You know, maybe I could uh, make a wind turbine out of it. You know, put the... Uh, and actually I did in, an, in an, uh, a couple of years ago, I made one using this type of motor. It's already geared. Uh, but this particular one's pretty heavy duty. I think it came from an old Sears unit. Some of the older Sears tools, they have really beefy motors in them. Uh, okay, this capacitor was pulled from my generator. I had an old uh, 2600 watt generator. Maybe I could use it for some future project. I don't know. To me, I think capacitors look like something. They have a purpose, and I don't want to throw them out. So this motor here is from a blender, and I found it at the recycling center. And one idea I thought is maybe I could take the motor out and put a gas one in and make a gas-powered blender, uh, you know, for margaritas off-grid. So anyway, I totally suggest if you get the chance, you see someone that's throwing out a bunch of tools, like in my case, it was a Rubbermaid container full of cordless tools. And just take them apart. There's tons of parts. Uh, you can recycle the plastic. Like for example, something like this. You can re recycle the plastic, take the motor out, reuse some of the other parts for maybe another project you're working on. So it's better than just throwing it in the garbage.